Hello, hello everyone, welcome to Cure Design. I'm Janine and in today's tutorial this is a face swap tutorial. We work with two different face tracker and we work with a face finder counter to add an instruction to it. So when you have just one face you see the instruction. If you track two faces or the filter track two faces the instruction disappear and the face swap is active. So let's start. Okay, let's start and we start with adding the face tracker. So we start with a face mesh. I'll call this one face tracker one, face mesh one and just go and duplicate the face tracker. So command C, command D. Also make sure it's two. And now when you add a video with two faces, you see both face tracker track the same face. It's possible that you can add to your face tracker the tracker face, so in this case face two, also um, the face mesh face two, but still there's nothing, nothing different. It's again, this is tracking phase one and this is tracking nothing. So I'll go to your project, edit properties, capabilities, and when you don't see the phase tracking, go to this plus sign where you have different options where you can choose from. And then go to your face tracking and make sure that your face is, is in this case max. Two. quality high and done. And now you see you um, track both faces. The next step is go to your device and go to render pass default pipeline and create a pipeline. And we now need to add the face extraction render pass. One, just make sure we see a little bit more. And the second one, make sure you link the camera texture to the camera texture of your face extraction render pass. And the next step is this is for our face one, this for two, and we switch the face tracking faces. So this tracks phase two, one tracks two and two tracks one. And the next step is adding the material. So we create two materials. Just duplicate this one again. Call this one, one and two and make sure both have a material, material two. So face mesh one has material one. Face mesh 2 has material 2. Go to the material, select both of them and make sure the shader type is flat. Now it's flat right here. And go to your texture and create an input. So material 1 goes right here. And now see direct just the difference and now the faces are switched and I don't see it maybe but the eyes and the mouth is cut out and you are it depends on what you prefer you can go to your face meshes select both of them and make sure that for example the um, eyes are not um, cut out so or the mouse so it's really the whole face is tracked to the other person and you see this rough outlines also go and select both materials sorry both materials and add an alpha mask and the alpha mask texture is from um, the sparkle acids I put the link down below 
go to face mesh mess this is uh, this round circle and now it's a little bit softer what i now want to show you is what if there is just one face and you need a kind of instruction and in this case to we need a face tracker so we need this pipeline we don't need, need this we just need this face finder i just add the scene i want to switch on and off a, a rectangle with the instruction i just add second one this is the intro and this is my segmentation add this up here and camera texture person segmentation add a material sec for this one and another material and in this case both flat and we need the camera extraction we have this one go to camera texture if it's way too far fast, fast for you watch this tutorial up here and yeah so this is selected and i want this uh, introduction or intro and go to my material intro material and add a new texture so this introduction texture uh, intro and now i want to make sure that if this this intro is now don't disappear so when i have two faces it's just showing up so next step is um you have this face finder so i want to make sure with uh, my counter uh, and an equal exactly if it's equal exactly to add impulse to it and the canvas visibility so we don't need the segmentation or the intro so the whole canvas should disappear when i now add a switch now it's a little bit confusing so when it's off so when it's not equal then go to switch turn on to make sure that the canvas is visible okay and if there are two people so there's it's equal then switch it off try this now it's off and on again and off and that is pretty nice to uh, add an instruction to it and also work with the face finder counter i didn't work with face finder counter before so it's pretty helpful if you want to make sure that everyone knows how to work with this filter and yeah thank you very much for watching i really appreciate your time i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and Ding. thank you so much for your likes your comments and of course your uh, subscription and we see us next time enjoy the process bye bye